Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Passionate Kelsey and welcome back to another very passionate vlog. So I'm just gonna pick right back up where we left off in our last vlog, which was we are working on custom orders. We have a custom order cardigan to make. It is a granny hexagon cardigan and it is full length long sleeves. So I'm assuming it's gonna take a bit, you know? Anyway, I have been given free range to pick the colors on this cardigan. Initially, they asked for this color, which is Moon Dance from Lily Sugar and Cream, but I don't make cardigans with cotton because it's just, it doesn't work very well. It's not very stretchy. It's not, you know, it's not great for cardigans. So I was thinking that maybe we could do kind of a multicolor cardigan and pick out colors that like are very similar to this. So I think we will start with that. I'm gonna be picking colors from my stash because I would like to do just like multiple colors and I'm hoping that I have enough around to where like if I combine all the colors, we'll have enough yarn in total. Like if I just picked one skein, I definitely wouldn't have enough, but you know, if we do all the colors combined, then we should have enough. But anyway, looking at this right here, it is a good combination of blues and purples, and then there's white as well. So to start off, I picked out this. It's a nice full skein of Red Heart Super Saver. It's a jumbo skein, and that goes well. We got a navy blue. So I think we still need a lighter color blue, purple, maybe another purple, and then I have a lot of white, so that's not gonna be a problem. Let's see what else we've got around here. I'm also just gonna pick them out and like set them next to each other to see if they go together well. But I have two of these, so that's a good option. I know I have some purple right over here. And I have two of these as well, pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Current color scheme. What are we thinking so far? That looks pretty good. We need white. Here's our never ending supply of white red heart yarn. Okay. So these are all full. This one has two, this one has one and a half. And I think that should be enough to make a full size cardigan, so. We've got soft navy, country blue, lavender, and white. Good. It's really close. Not perfect, but it like the general idea is there, you know? Now, what order do we want these to go in? Do we want the blues next to each other? What order does this go in? Let's see, let's see. Pull this from the center. This one starts with white, and then it goes to the light blue. White, lighter blue, and then it goes purple, and then it goes navy blue. And then it goes backwards. So it goes purple, blue, white. So it would go white, blue, purple, navy, purple, blue, white. And then it would go like, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Do I wanna go like this way and then back? Or do I wanna just, you know, go in like a regular cycle? Hmm. Okay guys, I am gonna be using a 6.5 millimeter hook because this is the hook that I used in the past whenever I make cardigans using worsted weight acrylic yarn. So we've got our hook, got our scissors, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get started. I think I'm gonna make both sides at the same time, maybe. The only striped cardigan that I have made has been the rainbow one. I don't usually change colors a lot because, mainly because I'm lazy and I don't want to. We are starting this at 12.45 p.m. It is a bigger project. I definitely, I can't finish in one day. If I like really, really tried, I think I could finish it in one day, but I, I'm not, I'm not, we're not gonna do that. 
I, right now, I think that this is going to take me two to three days. Two days if I am really into it, three days if I'm not as much into it, you know? I'm gonna do the first four rows with my colors and then we are gonna have to decide if I want to continue working in the circle or if we wanna work backwards. If I work backwards, then there will be much less of the navy blue color because we'll get three of these rows, one of this, and then three of these, and then it will go back, you know. But I really like this navy blue color, so like maybe I should just go in a continuous color loop. Okay, first white row is finished. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, this is definitely gonna take longer because we're gonna have to cut off our ends and I will be weaving them in and tying them off every round because if I had to do it all at once, that would be like the worst day ever. This is really gonna kill my fingers. <sighs> row one. Nice. <laughs> Two rows. Three rows. It is starting to wrinkle. I am doing them row by row. And I definitely decided that I'm just going to do a circular repeat. So I'm going to go white, blue, purple, navy, white, blue, purple, navy over and over and over again. And... Yeah, so I'm just going to be working on this. I think I'm going to watch a movie, so I'll see you guys later. I got all the colors on. I like it a lot. I think it looks great. So I'm going to start the repeat over at white now, and we'll see. Maybe I just really like it right now because it's obviously going from light to dark, but I hope it still looks good once we add the next four rows. And I am, I'm doing them both at the same time, so. I just finished the second round of the color repeat and I think it's looking fantastic. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I think we made good choices. So I've been thinking about, well, I've wanted to write a physical pattern for this for my hexagon cardigans for a long time. And I would really like to do like size graded instructions and not just, you know, make it until it's big enough to fit you type of thing. Like I wanna have specific sets of instructions for every size, extra small through, you know, like plus sizes. So anyway, I was, I'm getting to the point where I need to actually start thinking about how many rows I need to do because like you can just start it and not have to worry about that until you know you get far enough anyway I was just looking at the craft yarn council website because they have just like super super helpful like standard body measurements for all of the sizes and so I look at that quite often honestly. They have a full size chart from extra small through 5X and it has like pretty much every measurement you could ever want. It's like chest, center back, neck to wrist, back waist length, cross back, arm length to underarm, upper arm width, no circumference, armhole depth, waist, hips, you know. And then they have more if you're making other stuff, like they have head circumference, they have hand measurements, they have foot measurements if you're making socks, like, you know, it's the Craft Yarn Council, so it's it's for people that are making clothing, which is nice. But um, I just, I was wondering because the measurements are like their exact body measurements, and obviously for a cardigan, you want it to be like drapey. I, I, don't, I don't want my cardigans to be fitting like exactly to these measurements, you know? So I was just wondering, I was like, how much ease should I add? Like how much bigger than the measurements does it need to be? But like, it's not all of the measurements, obviously, because like, as far as like arm length goes, like if you're a bigger size, like your arms, they don't get longer, you know, like it's anyway, I was reading through this paragraph because like, honestly, I was just looking at the measurement numbers and then they also have visual representations of like where it's measured and stuff, if you're not sure. 
this time I actually read some some words because there's like a big paragraph that's attached to it and it says they have an ease chart I found they have an ease chart so that is so so helpful you know it says like how many inches you should add based on how like much bigger you want it to be so they have examples for very close fitting which is like tight clothing they have close fitting classic fit which is comfortable slightly larger than actual measurements and then they have a loose fit which i think that's what i'm gonna go for which is slightly oversized larger than your actual measurements and then they also have oversized which is very loose much larger than your actual measurements and then it tells you it's like add two to four inches add like loose fit is at four to six inches oversized it says add approximately six plus inches so like you know you can make it as big as you want really that is going to be so helpful and like maybe maybe i can actually finally get into writing the pattern don't get too excited it's going to take a while but at the very least i want to write a pattern for myself so that instead of you know doing all of this math and adding in the positive ease every single time i go to make someone's size i just want to have something that says do 20 rows and then i can just do 20 rows and not have to think about it math math is hard anyway the customer sent me their bust measurement and their height so i compared that information with the standard sizing chart that puts them right around a medium to large they're kind of like right in the middle so i have written down written wow i wrote down all of the important measurements such as the armhole depth which is going to be like you know this measurement where your arms go from your top of your shoulder to your little armpit here and then shoulder to shoulder so like probably from like here to the other one the other armpit arm length which is measured from the inner armpit to the wrist and then i also have a center back to wrist measurement which we would measure from here all the way to the wrist so i have those all written down and then i'm going to add my four to six inches of positive ease so that it's a nice loose comfortable fit and then i'll have all of my measurements that i need to make this thing basically i'm just telling you that i got the sizing figured out so <laughs> we can move along <sighs> i am getting tired it's four o'clock I'm gonna have to go and eat dinner soon because I'm starving. I'm actually just shoving my face full of Cheez-Its. Part of your impersonality that gives you joy, uh, I'm worried what they'll say about me. Like, again, I, I was joking before, but like, 21-year-old guy, he's not confident enough in himself. I've gotten to the point where I'm about to connect down my shoulder. So, it's looking good. It's eight o'clock. I'm gonna continue working on this. I have made, um, I think I'm, I'm progressing pretty good, but like hexagon cardigans, they always start off like really strong, really quick, and it feels like it's growing so fast. It's because, you know, the rows at the beginning are tiny and then they gradually get bigger. So it always feels like it's going really fast in the beginning and then towards the end, you're like, dang, this took forever. <laughs> anyway, I feel like I'm making good progress for today. I am writing this down as I go. This is going to be a size large. I'm just writing down like how many rows I'm doing and whatnot. Hopefully it will just be like making strides towards a written pattern. No promises. That is something that I want to make progress on. That is definitely something that I would have to have pattern testers for like absolutely especially with across all of the sizing and stuff like the rainbow hat pattern that i made last week and released without testing like that was just a little bucket hat you know it was a one size kind of thing but if i make this with all of the sizing and then maybe even like make a whole separate file with all of the plus sizes on there because the size chart on the craftyarncouncil.com it goes all the way up to 5x this would be my biggest pattern yet, so it should take the longest amount of time. <sighs> anyway, I am just like a few rows 
four rows behind on this one, but I've been keeping them pretty even, you know, throughout the process. Oh, oh, and here's how my yarn's looking. White is running low. This one is okay. We have another full skein of that one. This one's running low, but I have another one right there. And then this one, if you can see, this one is a jumbo skein. I don't have another one of this, but I think it will make it. I think it'll make it. So right now we're, we're sitting good. My hands were starting to hurt just the slightest bit because I don't take breaks and I, I should take breaks. Yes, I know. I'll probably just be like a little bit sore whenever I wake up tomorrow. And then once I get stretched and going, it usually just goes away, you know? Please don't lecture me in the comments. I'll just be working on this for the rest of the night. I'm gonna watch Caesar play some games and you know, I'll show you how much progress we made before I go to bed. It's probably gonna be like three more hours, but I can get a lot of crocheting done in three hours, okay? Speaking of gaming, did you guys know that I have my own gaming channel? It was a thing. I've posted like a few videos on there, not very many. I wanna say like less than 10. I haven't posted on there in a long time, but I've kind of wanted to play some games. So I was thinking like I could record them. I just don't know if anyone will watch them, you know? I was kind of just wanting to play like silly little games. Like if I can find them, like the, the, the computer games that I would, play as a kid because every time I'd go to my grandma's house I would get on her computer and I would play games a lot of them are just mini games you know like if I could play Webkins that would be so fun if I could play the sandwich stacker Lilo and Stitch game so fun I don't know I I feel like those are available on the internet somewhere I do enjoy playing games just not in the same way as my boyfriend enjoys playing games. He is a, a different kind of gamer than I, you know? I like watching him play games, it's fun. But I like shorter games, like mini games, and uh, I need like constant gratitude and stuff. I play silly little games like Candy Crush and stuff. Anyway, I was thinking about, you know, posting some some stuff so if you guys want to subscribe to my second channel i think it's called passionate plays because you know i'd be playing games uh you can it's in the video description so i finished both of these i started extending this sleeve just by like four rows so just a little bit from here to here so far so good I think that was a good amount to get done in our first day. It is late now though, so I'm gonna go to bed and we will continue working on this tomorrow. Hello guys, welcome to tomorrow. Check out the birch. We are gonna continue working on this cardigan today. Hopefully I can finish it. Mm, I kinda doubt it, but we'll definitely be working on it. First, I am gonna be putting in an order of Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton because I just saw it was on sale. You know, usually they're $4.49, but right now they're $2.99 because Joanne's is having a big sale. So I have some colors that I need. You know, I'm running low. I only got two strawberries. Those are really important. Just stuff like that, you know? So I'm just gonna get some of the main colors and uh, we'll probably open them in a different vlog once they arrive. I looked at it because somebody messaged me and they were like, hey, just so you know, the cones, which are these bad boys, the big ones, they were like, the cones are on sale for like $3. And I was like, that's crazy because, you know, they're usually $15. And whenever they go on sale, they usually go down to $11. But three, I was like, no way. So I ran to Joanne's, but um, that wasn't true, sadly. Yeah. Okay, well, after our little shopping spree and a 20% off your total purchase coupon, I spent $127. That's not bad. Let's see, I got 10, 14, 18, 20, 23, 24, Oh, wait, wait, oh, oh, that's a six pack. 35, 40, 49. I got 49 skeins of yarn. Three of those were six pack. Most of it is Lily Sugar and Cream colors. And then 
Um, honestly, I had to get some more of the Big Twist Party because every time it's on sale, it goes down to like $2. Hello? I still haven't used the three that I bought last time, <laughs> but um, it's fine. I'm hoping, I'm telling myself that this is not gonna take long because like all we have to do is add the length on the sleeves, which not very long. It's like from elbow to, you know, wrist. And then we gotta add length to the bottom. You know, generally it's it's gonna go like from here. Just, I like it, I like it like right past the butt for a longer one. And by not long, I'm I'm hoping that I'll finish it tonight. Like I I fully assume this is gonna take me all day, but I would like to have it finished by tonight. I don't wanna work on it tomorrow. But in order for that to be accomplished, I need to get going because it's 3.15. I've been doing other stuff. I've been doing some editing and whatnot. I may have slept until noon, but whatever. I was really tired, okay? I just finished the length on the sleeve and I'm about to do the cuffs. I think I'm gonna make the cuffs like three inches long at least, but I'm really happy that it worked out to be exactly the same color that we ended on for both sides. I took a break to make some dinner and um, I burnt my thumb. Not bad, but like just a little bit, but it stings and that sucks. All right, so I finished the first sleeve down to the cuff. Pretty interesting. I decided to use a four millimeter hook on the cuff and I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. I feel like it's big, but it doesn't look bad. Hmm, I don't know. Let me, let me, let me. Yeah, no, it doesn't look bad. Yeah, so now I'm gonna work on the other one. I got to extend the sleeve to match the other one and do the cuff. It's already, um, it's 7.53, it's almost eight o'clock. So I'm gonna have to kick it into high gear. Uh, <laughs> if I don't, I do not think I'll be finishing this tonight. All right, I'll do the other sleeve real quick. Then we gotta connect the back panels and add length. That'll take a while. Dang. They're making him nice and sweet, but they made him very suspicious. Are they trying to trick us again or is he for real evil? Perfect, okay, we can finally do some stuff. Get it going a little bit. Okay, so I finished both sleeves now. Here they are, cuffs and everything. So now I'm going to measure them. I'm gonna measure the width and I gotta figure out how many rows to add um, in the back area, you know, the back neck like this. I'm gonna do that. It shouldn't be like a lot, you know? It's already like, it's 10 p.m. I'm gonna stay up for a little bit, but we will definitely not be finishing this cardigan today, unfortunately. So that's my bad. All right, I connected the back. Looking good. I did change the color order just ever so slightly on the back so that we wouldn't have two purple rows going down the center. I mean, really, it's, it's kind of hard to tell, especially from far away, so. This is definitely harder to tell than if it had two rows of purple right down the center. Can you tell? So. This seam right here is where they connect. I did three rows on each side, so it starts from the dark blue. This side got white, light blue, and then purple. And this side, it goes white, light blue, and then it goes back to the dark blue. So I skipped the purple row because otherwise there would be a thick purple strip down the middle. I think this is better. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna weave in all of these ends because they are horrendous on both ends and then what we're gonna do from here is we just got to add like 
mm, two or three feet, you know, for the length. If they wanted it cropped, we could be done tonight, but they want it to be full length. So weaving in our ends, starting to add rows and I'll keep doing that until I go to bed. I am going to have so many ends to weave in, it's not even funny. <laughs> All right guys, well this is as far as I'm gonna get tonight. It's 11.15, I'm going to bed. I added seven rows on the length, so this is what we're looking like currently. Not bad. Front and back. So there's that. We should be able to finish it tomorrow. All right guys, new day. We are getting back to work on our cardigan. I was avoiding work a little bit this morning. So um, I took everything out of my fridge and I sanitized it, wiped all the shelves down and put everything back in. <laughs> but I, we're gonna, we're gonna make it work. It's 1.30 and I'm gonna get a move on. I'm gonna try to go as fast as possible. I'm kind of trying to weave in my ends as I go, just like every five rows or so. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm gonna be adding to the bottom of this though, so. Okay, I've added 15 rows to the length on the cardigan. I wanna do a little bit of a length check-in I don't think we're there yet, but I want to see how close we are at least. So let's put it on. The customer is about the same height as me, so the length should match up. Okay, actually, not bad. Not bad at all. It's honestly pretty good. Like, we could stop here. It does cover the butt. Maybe this is a good stopping point. The border is going to add at least an inch down here as well so like yeah actually actually now that I'm looking at it I think we're good I think we're good hmm? okay that is awesome uh, I'm gonna weave in my ends both sides then we'll start working on our border I am gonna do the border with the dark blue because that's what I made the cuffs with because I so I think that'll be a good pairing and I will most likely end up doing three to five rows of single crochet I'll do three and then if I don't think it's thick enough I'll do five I do turn the work every row so like the first row would be the right side second row would be wrong side and that's why it has to be an odd number so it'll be three or five and it's not even dark outside yet Okay, I am almost done with the third row and I'm thinking that three rows is going to suffice. I mean like this, that's, that's a pretty good size border. All of this blue right here. Yeah, that's like at least an inch or more. So I'm gonna finish this. I just have to go, well, okay. I pretty much have to do the whole row. I gotta go up around the neckline and then come back down to the bottom here. So, but after that, our cardigan will be finished. We're officially done. Yay. Yay, 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 yay. Let's see what it looks like. I'm assuming it's gonna look the same as when we tried it on before, just um, with a border on it. Here we go. So I tried to follow the large size on the Craft Yarn Council website measurements wise. So this would be considered a large. Um, I mean like this sweatshirt that I'm wearing underneath is also is a size large and it fits over it like very comfortably. Also like this is men's size large. So, I mean, I hope that's right. I wrote down everything that I did every step of the way. I'm gonna take finished item measurements of it as well so that that can maybe hopefully contribute to a written pattern. 
once again no promises not anytime soon I mean I can only see it in my like tiny viewfinder on the camera but I think it looks great in the mirror it looks great so you know <laughs> anyway, I should take this off. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I gotta get a good picture, I gotta measure it, and I gotta lint roll it really, really good. And we're done, there we go. So in total, this took two and a half days. Honestly, I think I could do it in two. I spent a lot of my time not working on it. Um, I was doing other things, taking care of my dog. I went grocery shopping this morning. I cleaned a little bit here and there, blah, blah, blah. But nose to the grindstone, I could have done it in two days, but I ended up doing it in three just because life. My hands are okay. The tiniest bit sore. I can feel it, but I know that they're going to be just like completely fine and bounce back tomorrow. As far as yarn goes, we have leftovers of everything like and a good amount of leftovers too like like this is quite a bit um oh well actually i guess i used up a lavender skein that i had and then i started on this one so that's why there's quite a bit left on this color we have this color we didn't even need to jump into the second skein on this one the navy from the jumbo skein is fine i'm just gonna have to like wind all of these with my yarn winder so that they're not all floppy and then for the little white ones i used one full one and then i used just over half of this one so you know which is great i have a ton of the white ones and i need to get rid of them so i'm so glad that i didn't run out of any of the yarns i was a little bit worried whenever i was like i really only have like one color especially the dark navy because i only have one skein of that and that was gonna be my main color choice you know as far as the cuffs and the border goes so I'm so glad we didn't run out of any yarn and we have leftovers and I just think it was it was great it was great I'm really happy with how the color choices turned out I think it was fantastic it kind of gave me the idea to like maybe pick colors from some of my favorite lily sugar and cream skeins because you know initially they asked for the moon dance color and i was like well i can't make a cardigan with lily sugar and cream but i pulled the colors straight from there and i made this so like maybe i should do that more with some other sh colors maybe but anyway this is where we're gonna have to end this video because i have things to do i gotta edit we gotta make other videos you know how it goes but thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you let me know what you think of this cardigan in the comments i would love to hear it and i guess i'll see you guys in my next video drop a like subscribe and that's it bye